Well, we got it all pulled apart for degreasing and uh, general cleanup. You can see we got, yeah, we've already given it one bath, just a quick wash. But now with the sidecar off, we can see everything. Got the air box out, fuel tank off, seat off. We can really get in here and take care of some of the grease buildup, the grunge. There's, you know, road, it's like road salt uh, debris built up on it. Yeah, pretty normal looking stuff, but uh, get it all cleaned up. We'll T9 all the connection, grease everything. We should be able to start putting her back together. Just got to be careful with the water. We don't want to get into any seals or get into the engine. But once we get it going and cleaned up, um, you know, we're going to do another oil change on it pretty quickly. Just to uh, make sure we got all the swarf cleaned out. And go through it. Check, make sure we're not getting build up over here. May need to... Uh, they tell me that there may be a gasket on here backwards causing the oil build up on the left side or it may just be plugged, but we'll check that and uh, hopefully we'll have this thing back together here going pretty good. It is going to need new tires, um, even though they've got decent tread on them. I don't know if you can see it in the video. These tires have been sitting for a while. There's a lot of uh, spider cracking, little spider vein cracks all over the place three tires so I, I'd be fine up you know test driving at 35 40 mile an hour no problem but I certainly wouldn't want to get out on the highway and heat these tires up to uh, find out that one of them is ready to go so let's get it cleaned up uh, you know we're finding little things we need to do like this mirror up here is just flopping around. It's, there's no tension left on the ball. No way to tension it. So we'll have to get a at least one mirror, possibly a matching set if I can't find one. Um, you know, it's looking pretty good. I think it's going to clean up good. I uh, still don't have the carburetors back on yet. So got that taped off so we can wash it good. But you can see there, there's just a lot of dirt and buildup and grunge we're going to have to scrub and brush out of it. Well, it's coming along. We have degreased and degreased and degreased. I think we've pulled uh, probably literally five pounds of grease off of it. You can see up there it's nice and clean now. It's really, really cleaning up. Uh, haven't really washed it uh, like the detail wash or anything. Yeah, fenders are still dirty. Been cleaning on the wheels. Still got uh, still got a ways to go. We've got an electric pressure washer here. It doesn't put out enough uh, pressure. I think it's 1,200 psi. It's uh, I, I don't like to use. You know, 3,500 psi pressure washers on stuff. You blow seals off and damage it. This this really is, you know, better than a garden hose. But if if you can't get it off with this pressure washer, you need to scrape on it and use more degreaser, not not get more pressure. Because you can really damage stuff on here before you know it. But it's doing pretty good. We're using uh, regular simple green, the green green on the frame, uh, engine, stuff like that, and then on the painted areas and on the aluminum we're using the, I, I don't know, it's, uh, I had to pull it and look at it, it's uh, kind of in a blue squirt bottle type simple green. It doesn't seem to be as aggressive as regular simple green, but uh, it does, does the job on the wheels and stuff without harming the aluminum, which regular simple green's not bad, you just got to rinse it off, you can't leave it on there, it will etch it. So coming along pretty good. Uh, my son's been doing this, so I come out and check on him every now and then. Uh, it's quite a bit of work. Um, this is, you know, honestly my least favorite part is is cleaning. Um, it's it's quite a lot of work. 
to go through and do this and and get it good but it's come along it's uh, probably needs one more good washing at this point and uh, will be good you can see we still got some grease showing up in here wish I had a steam cleaner um, or a, a hot pressure washer would be nice but we'll we'll get there just keep it going it's looking good